What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another video, man. <laughs> and today, I'm going to talk about today's NFL matchup. You had the Kansas City Chiefs beating the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 27-24, yo. Um, before I get into this video, man, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platform, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, I have all that information down in the description box. Um, I may not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, so uh, feel free to DM me. Um, come highlight at your boy, yo. Man, wow, bro. Um, <laughs> Tyreek Hill, man. Like, <laughs> it's not even fair, man. Like, it's not even fair. Like, when you got Tyreek Hill out there, then you got a guy like Patrick Mahomes throwing him the ball. Then you have other people you got to worry about, like Travis Kelsey, Clyde edwards Lair, Le'Veon Bell, Mikel Hardman, you know, Sammy Watkins, you know, and all these other we plethora of weapons out there. Oh, and you got Big Chief Andy Reid dialing up players also. It's not fair. <laughs> like, it's not fair at all, man. Tyreek Hill had over 200 yards receiving in the first quarter <laughs> like just think about that man in the first quarter yo that's that's absurd yo that is unheard of like i said that's just flat out not fair <laughs> and somehow some way he manages to do it yo um but you know you got to give credit to tampa man though brady threw two bad picks um, they fought back, man. Mike Evans had a nice day. Um, it looks like as the game started going on and on, um, Tampa Bay, um, Tom Brady started figuring a few things out, you know, with the, um, you know, with this offense, with the, um, with the system and everything. Um, and they fought hard, man. They fought back, man. Gronk had over 100 yards receiving. Um, Ronald Jones had a nice catch and run for a touchdown. Um, so, you know, they fought hard. Obviously, they're going to be a tough out. Um, they're going to be a wild card team, but they're going to be a tough out on whoever they got to play. Because um, you would think that with more and more time that, you know, Brady is in his offense, that the offense would just get better and better. Um, the problem with them, though, is as hot as their defense um, was to start the season, they really tailed off, man. Like, coming into the year, you know, obviously I love Tampa Bay's front seven. You know, with Shaquille Barrett and, and, and Sue and Pierre Paul, you know, the big homie Devin White, um, Levante David and those guys. I thought the front seven could, could compete with pretty much any front seven in the NFL. My concerns was their back end. And early on, their back end was actually handling their business. But now, you know, particularly the last two home games going up against, you know, Jared Goff and today Patrick Mahomes, who... I mean, they got they got picked apart, yo. They played a little better as the game went on, but they the damage pretty much was already done, man. Like they got completely picked apart. They got a bunch of young guys in their secondary, and you know that's critical. You know, going down the stretch, you know, into a playoff um, um, run with all these really really good quarterbacks, especially you know in the NFC, you got the Breezes. If he comes back healthy, you know Rodgers. Uh, Russell Wilson, you know, you got those, just those big three right there. You know, they gonna put pressure on really, really young secondaries. You know, particularly in a playoff, especially if this team, you know, is on the road uh, in you know uncomfortable circumstances in the dome in New Orleans at, at frigid Lambeau Field and up in rainy, nasty weather Seattle. You know, that could make a difference in the, in, in those games. Um, but man, Tyreek Hill, man. Like, that's, that's not fair, man. A guy to be that fast with that quarterback throwing him the ball with those other weapons on the field with him to where you can't really just completely focus on him and with that guy calling plays, yo. Like, as a football player, man, he is extremely blessed. <laughs> like, he is an extremely blessed. Not only is he a blessed talent, he's in an extreme blessed situation, yo. Um... Just just what a performance, man. You know, they kind of got away from him late. But then when the chip was on the table, um, late in the game, they're trying to, you know, control the clock, run out the clock. What they do? They throw him a pass. He catch it. He go down. <laughs> like, with ease, man. Like, he could have had 400 yards receiving if they decided they was going to throw it to him every play. 
But um, shout out to Tyreek Hill, man. What a performance by him. Nice win by the Kansas City Chiefs as they continue to put pressure on the undefeated Pittsburgh Steelers to continue to win to hold on that number one seed, especially in a year like this year where only the top seed get a number get, uh, get a first round by yo. Um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have Philadelphia Eagles and NFL content throughout the year. Also, this coming Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, 5 Pacific. I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all come on there, ask me anything. Tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout out on the live, yo. Y'all should join me. It'll be some good stuff. I'll tell you then, yo. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.